So cardiac disease, heart disease, it's pretty big business, right? Um, yeah. So we had a GP on, I think, sort of four weeks ago, uh, sort of somewhere around there now. Mm. Um, and I think we chatted on there that it was around 12% of all deaths in men. Yeah. Um, somewhere around that region. And I think across all genders, I think it it's makes up about a quarter of all deaths. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I saw one other statistic that basically, I think every three minutes, somebody dies from, from heart disease. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And which means that probably throughout the duration of this podcast, 30 people will die of heart disease, which is crazy when you think about it like that. Mm -hmm. um, but it'd be great just to talk the audience uh, through, I guess, the state of the nation in regard to heart disease and some of the, some of the statistics. Because I think a lot of people will live in their bubbles and not have an awareness and not be off checking out the statistics and, and are probably unaware of the real risk around heart yeah. disease. I think I read the same one as you, but this is the British Heart Foundation fact sheet that I cunningly printed off just before I came out. <laughs> uh, and even more embarrassingly, spilt pizza on. What pizza On my way. Uh, <laughs> it was the Stromboli one, but it came with a lot of oil. Uh, the C&M, the Crosta Monica one. Monica is very nice. Was it good, is it? Yeah, it's an oven job with extra jalapenos on it. How often would you recommend that pizza? I would never recommend that pizza <laughs> on this podcast. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Men stop eating pizza. But I, I did appreciate the irony that I turned up to this with pizza dripped all over yeah. my cheat yeah. sheets. Yeah. I, I assumed it was coffee. I assume like PTs, doctors need caffeine just to get they, through. They, they have a lot of caffeine, but we'll come on to that in a little bit, yeah. the virtues of caffeine. Th this tells us that 375 people will die today from circulatory disease, which is an incredible statistic, right. really. In, in the UK? In the UK. Uh, that's not even in the UK, that's England. Not oh, just in England. That's just England. A uh, hundred of them will be under the age of 75, which would then be the termed premature, because you're not really supposed to die in this country younger than 75 nowadays. 6.4 million people are living with heart or circulatory disease, and that's pretty much what you're saying. There's about 10 or 12% of the population. 230 hospital admissions due to a heart attack today alone. 230 heart attacks coming into hospital just today. And 145 people will die of it. That's a lot of people. Those are big numbers, That's yeah. That's a lot of people.